uh, hey, bro, sign Steve. I've been busting my biceps for three years now, and I still look like a soggy noodle. What's the deal, man? Uh, oh, I got the secret sauce right here. You ready? It's called the reverse transformation method. Yup, the more you work out, the more you magically shrink. It's a groundbreaking discovery, my friend. Uh, that doesn't sound right at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold up, fellas. Who in the world is bro sign Steve telling you, Mikey? That's the most hilarious misconception I ever heard. Let me set the record straight. Thank goodness you're here, Louis. Please, enlighten us. All right, listen up. The real key to progress lies in managing the downside, mastering the fundamentals, and making fitness a part of who you are. So no reverse transformations? Whew, absolutely not. It's all about finding the right balance, focusing on the basics, and making fitness a lifestyle you genuinely enjoy. Wait, I've been doing it all wrong? Maybe I should retake my fitness training course. What's going on? It's your boy, Lewis Hoffa's show. You know how we do. Today, I wanna to share a reality check with you all. You see in the gym, there are two main groups of people. Let's call them group A and group B. Group A consists of fitness heroes who are consistently showing up, putting in the work, and making steady progress. They're crushing their goals and loving every minute of it. And then there's group B. Oh, poor group B. They're also putting in the effort, trying different programs, tweaking their diets, but unfortunately, they're not seeing the breakthrough they long for. So the million dollar question is, how can you avoid ending up in group B and make your way to the glorious group A? Well, I'm here to give you the answers. Based on my experience coaching over 50 clients and my personal fitness journey of over a decade, I discovered three main reasons why most people struggle to see results. Who knew the secret to success was avoiding group B like a bad haircut? Reason number one, managing the downside. Let's start with an example and take a page from the investing world, shall we? Imagine the legendary Warren Buffett advising us to never lose money. Rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, seriously, don't forget rule number one. Now, think about it in terms of fitness. You may have an amazing weekday routine, cutting calories, going all out at the gym, but then the weekend arrives, and it's like all bets are off. Pizzas, burgers, and that tempting pie of ice cream suddenly takes over your life. The key to success lies in managing the downside. Instead of obsessing over squeezing even more goodness out of your weekdays, focus on making those terrible weekends less terrible. Maybe indulge in a few hundred calories instead of going all out in a 5,000 calorie feast. It's all about finding balance. Let me give you an example. Imagine you have two gym buddies, bro science Steve and Mikey. Hey. Hey. Mikey trains like a beast whenever he hits the gym, but then life gets in the way and he takes extended breaks. On the other hand, bro science Steve may not push himself to the extreme, but he shows up consistently, rain or shine. Guess who's seeing better results? That's right, bro science Steve. Sick. You can't compensate for weeks of slacking off, even if you give it your all when you're back on track. Consistency and balance are the secret sauce. So identify those pitfalls, those moments of weakness, and work on minimizing them. That's how you'll see phenomenal progress. Now, let's dive into reason number two, mastering the fundamentals. Picture this, you're a beginner or a more intermediate fitness enthusiast, and you feel stuck. You're putting in the work, but something's just not clicking. Well, chances are you deviated from the fundamentals. It's not that you're not doing them at all, but you haven't truly mastered them. Let me introduce you to our fundamentals dream team. Compound lifts, progressive overload, proper technique, consistency, tracking your calories and macros, eating a healthy diet, quality sleep, and yes, hitting that like button on my videos. I guess I've been missing out on the fundamentals like pizza without cheese. It just doesn't work. These fundamentals should be your bread and butter, the foundation of your fitness journey. Instead of falling into the rabbit hole of gimmicks and quick fixes, go deep with these basics. A master doesn't overlook the fundamentals. They embrace them, refine them, and become a master at them. Now, let me ask you this. Do you truly know these fundamentals? Sure, you may have a basic understanding, but how good are you at them? How consistently have you practiced them? It's time to level up your understanding and commitment. Ah, and the third reason, my favorite, making fitness a part of who you are. Picture this, you're at a party and your friends are discussing fitness. You light up like a Christmas tree, eager to share your knowledge and experiences. To you, fitness isn't a chore. It's fun, it's exciting, but then there's the casual approach. You dabble, you're wishy-washy, and fitness doesn't occupy much space in your thoughts. You're not actively seeking new information or embracing accountability. And guess what? You're not seeing much progress either. If you truly desire exceptional results, it's time to make fitness a priority. It doesn't have to take over your family or business, but it deserves a prominent place in your life. You need to invest time, learn, seek support, and make fitness a part of your identity. 
I guess it's time to stop treating fitness like a distant cousin and bring it into the family reunion. So take a moment to reflect. How much space does fitness currently occupy your life? Can you find more room for it to grow and become a meaningful part of your routine? Remember, you have a choice. Embrace the casual approach or commit to the exceptional journey. The choice is yours. And there you have it. The reality check you needed to unlock your potential. Remember, it's all about managing the downside, mastering the fundamentals, and making fitness a part of who you are. Online coaching will be available soon. I also have another YouTube channel if you're interested. We talk more about mindset, creating better habits, discipline, and achieving your goals outside of fitness. So if that sounds good to you, head on over to Lewis Hoffer's show. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And oh yeah, don't forget to bring the shreds and I will talk to you soon. Peace.